Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm going to take you to some of my favourite milongas today. You're going to get a taste of the whole tango scene here. Um, but I've already ruined it for myself by um, only getting four hours sleep because um, not because I had insomnia, but because I was out and didn't get to bed until six this morning and I can never sleep past ten. Yeah, I'm too old for this, really, this tango lifestyle. I am too old for it. I'm 50. So there's an app called Oi Milonga and it tells you all the milongas happening for the day. So today there are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six Malongas to choose from. Tango Herbert. The first place I want to show you is actually my tango. DNI Tango. So let me explain what you're about to see is proper Argentinian tango. Uh, that means it is improvised. It's not like Strictly where there's a routine that's rehearsed. It's in the moment, it's spontaneous, so you never know what the next step's going to be. So we're off to La Glorieta, which is, um, it's in a park, it's really nice. Um, I don't normally go there on a Saturday, um, but it's Amy's last day, and she gets the <laughs> choice. Uh, so first impression is that there's not that many people here. I think that's because the temperature's dropped a little bit. Um, in the last couple of days, we're moving from the summer into the autumn, because um, it's outside, um, it's a lot cooler. Um, and also, um, it looks like quite a lot of old people there. Now, I haven't got anything against old people, but generally what I've found in Argentina is that the older men um, learned a long time ago and they are dancing in the old style, which is quite um, kind of shovy, pushy, macho style. And I don't like that. Um, tango's changed a lot. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be doing much dancing. The lovely Juan Manuel has arrived. Uh, he's really lovely to dance with, so we're happy. We've got somebody to dance with now. Daniel arrived and he's just lovely to dance with as well, so it redeemed itself. <laughs> Oh, 
at 5 o'clock in the morning and we're fine. Muy tarde. <laughs> Muy tarde. We are finally going home. <laughs> La Careta is still my favorite yes. milonga. Milonga is the best yeah. milonga. The place is great because it's a it's an old theater. So there's a stage and there's sofas and there's tables. And, um, the floor is really good to dance on. Um, there's the dance loads of people. I mean, actually, some people complain that there's too many people, and so the dance floor is too crowded and you can't move around. It's and you crash a lot. The first time I went in there. Um, I just saw loads of people that I knew and they were all people from all the different Malongas that I go to and also Malong, people, Malonga organizers go there as well so it feels like the cool place to go. It's really easy to get dancers because I know loads of people and uh, women can ask men and so and you can kind of cruise around. And... Alarm. I need to wake up. Is it fun? <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up, Laura. Okay, okay. Dueña de mi corazón.